Hi, and welcome to a quick introduction to FarmBright. In this video, we are going to take you on a tour of the software. We're going to go over all the different aspects of the FarmBright system, livestock management, crop plantings and harvests, equipment and inventory tracking, accounting, reporting, your market and online store, and much more. We build FarmBright to be customizable and fit many different businesses, and you're the best person to know if it works for your operation. We want you to get hands-on and try it, so we give you a 14-day free trial to be sure it's the right fit for you. If you haven't started your trial yet, watch this video and then go to farmbright.com to get started. All right, let's start taking a look through the software. We're using a demo account that already has a lot of data so you can see what's possible. Your trial account will start as a blank slate for you to populate. The first important feature to note is that FarmBright is web-based software. There's no program to download or install. You'll simply bookmark the link to get back here, and then log in with the email address and password that you just set up. That means that FarmBright can be accessed anywhere from any device. You can use this on your phone out in the field, and if your service isn't the best out there, we also offer an offline mode to keep you running even without a Wi-Fi connection. Let's start with the FarmBright dashboard. This is your homepage with quick at-a-glance information. You'll see things like the weather, your upcoming tasks, recent orders from your FarmBright market, and an income versus expense chart. Don't worry that there's not a lot of data here for you right away. This will get populated as you add information to your system. These are all great examples of critical data points that you'll see every time you log in. Things that help you be prepared and run your business successfully. The next thing I want to draw your attention to is the help link in the upper right. We want you to be familiar with the self-service help, as we know you're likely very busy running your business and probably want to learn more on your own time when it's convenient for you. You'll find categories here for all the different areas of FarmBright. Clicking on any category will display the articles in it. You could also search for what you're looking for by using the search bar at the top. The Help Center also suggests relevant content based on the page that you're currently on. If we click on Livestock and then go back to Help, you'll see that the Livestock articles are automatically shown. This help is embedded within FarmBright, but if you'd like to read it on a full page, you can open the full site for a larger, cleaner experience reading the articles and watching the videos. Note this Getting Started article in the upper left. As the name implies, this is a great place to begin your FarmBright journey. Like this video, it's a high-level overview that will point you in the right direction and help you understand the basics. Beyond that, though, notice that each section has its own Getting Started article. This lets you learn more in-depth details about the capabilities of your new FarmBright account. Of course, if you don't find what you're looking for here or in our other videos, you can always reach out to our support team by choosing Contact in the upper right and submitting a support request. Now that you know where your help resources are, let's take a look at the main navigation menu on the left. These tabs categorize your FarmBright account into specific areas. Additional videos in this series will dive deeper into each one of these, but for now, let's just take a quick look to get the basics. The first two, Schedule and Tasks, go hand in hand. You'll see the schedule is a calendar to help you keep track of upcoming appointments plantings, harvests, vet visits, maintenance, and much more. When we choose tasks, we'll see a checklist of things that we need to do around the farm. Plantings and harvests and livestock care, of course, but also things like property improvements, cleaning and maintenance, and following up with customers. Tasks can be assigned due dates, priorities, and then assigned to your farmhands, who can update the status and help you see the progress. You can also display these tasks on a board, giving you a visual representation of what needs to be done and what progress has been made. Both of these features are all about keeping you organized and on top of things. You'll find everything livestock related in the next tab. We'll first choose animals and see a searchable list of all of our animals with the ability to add more. If we click into one of them, we'll see a second menu expand with more details about it. These secondary menus are found all around FarmBright. We'll see them again on crops, equipment, and on our products. 
All sorts of animal-specific data can be collected here, like treatments, feedings, measurements, genealogy, and yield. And that data can also be associated with livestock groups, which allow you to group your animals together and track them as a herd. These can be automated based on species, breed, and other characteristics, or you can make your own with whatever animals you'd like. You can also track a group of animals with a single record, so chickens, bees, rabbits, or fish are easy to work with as a single unit. When we open our cattle group, we'll see a list of animals that meet our criteria and group statistics across the top. Note that you can perform actions in bulk for these animals, letting you add notes, tasks, treatments, feedings, and breedings to every animal in the herd with one action. Another highlight of using the livestock groups is being able to see the big picture across your whole herd. The data records we saw on the individual animal, like measurements, feedings, and breeding records, are all compiled and summarized for the group. These give you an easy-to-read visual representation of your data in charts and graphs, helping you track your herd's feed intake, growth, and fertility over time. These can give you powerful insights for you to make data-driven decisions, helping you know if you are on the right track or need to make changes and adjust your operation. FarmBride also helps you keep track of your animal grazing, letting you define your different grazing fields and animal enclosures, and keeping track of how many animals you have in each. It will also calculate how many days they've been in the location, and how long a grazing field has been rested, so you'll know when it's ready to be grazed again. FarmBride will also take the animal measurements that we looked at before to give you an animal unit count for the grazing field, helping you make sure that your field can support the health of your herd. And once you've added your animals, you'll also find a comprehensive livestock inventory report with easy to read charts and graphs and yearly totals for different species. Let's move on to the planting section where you'll find all the information about your crops and grow locations. Look at all the crops that we've grown and how we're tracking when they were planted, where they were planted, and when we can expect harvests. When we select one, we'll see the secondary menu pop out with information about this crop type, our current plantings, future plantings, harvest history, and more. We can select a particular planting here. These are the strawberries we have planted in bed one of Southwest Field C, and see even more details about this specific planting in this specific bed. We could track treatments applied to this planting, take soil samples, record harvests, and a lot more. And speaking of particular beds, let's go to Grow Locations, where you can define all your fields and beds. You'll also see grazing locations here, since you can grow and harvest hay as well. In addition to your fields and beds, you might also track indoor grow rooms, pastures, greenhouses, or even something like an orchard. Let's go through the process of creating one. You'll first define some details, and choose your planting format. If you're planting in beds, you can define the number of beds and their size. Alternatively, you might plant a cover crop, a row crop, or something else. We'll stay with our bed example here, define a few other details, and then save. After you create your grow location, you can then have a little fun with it and map it. Let's map the field. We'll plot the points that outline our new field and see that it is named and saved as the new grow location. Let's map a bed on here too. We'll give it a name and save. And then we can follow the steps above and move on to adding a planting. We'll click to add a new planting and then drag and drop our crop type into a bed. FarmBright will use the details from the crop type to load plant spacing and days to maturity, automatically calculating how many plants can fit in this bed and estimate when they might be ready. If we have space remaining, we can add more crops to the same bed or continue adding crops to different beds. And so that you can better track these crops, we also provide a crop plan chart it shows all your plantings and when you should expect to start, plant, and harvest them. And after you harvest, you can also check out the yield comparison report, which compares varieties from the same crop type to let you know which ones are most fruitful 
to help you decide which ones to plant again. And we know it takes a lot to get those harvests and to take care of your livestock, so let's move on to the resources section. This is where you can track the equipment and materials that you use and where you store them. Check out the vehicles, tractors, and tools that we have listed here. If we click into the old farm truck, we'll see the same familiar secondary menu where we can track maintenance and service records, expenses associated with the equipment, and tasks for it. Beyond equipment, you can also track your warehouses, which are basically storage locations, which can get as specific as certain shelves or bins. The purpose here is twofold. You're tracking both your inputs and your outputs. You might need to track inputs like motor oil for your vehicles, feed for your cows, or seeds to start your plants, or outputs like the harvest from your crops, or the products that you make. You can add all of these items to your inventory, and then associate them with the different warehouses, shelves, and bins that we just saw. That way you know where all these items are, and how many you have of each. You can even set up notifications to alert you when you're running low. You can see that we're tracking the stock of the products that we make in our inventory, but you can also sell them by going to the market. You define the products that you have for sale within the product section, and you can also choose whether they're available online. These products can connect to the inventory system that we just looked at, so you can be sure you have the right stock available when you need it. It's easy to manually add orders that you take over the phone or in person, and FarmBright also comes with an online store that connects with Stripe for online credit card processing. You can brand the store with your logos and background, and integrate it into your website, giving your customers a seamless shopping experience. You can also set pickup locations so that your customers will know where to go to pick up their orders. And of course, that's in addition to any shipping or delivery options that you offer. When someone buys online, they'll be automatically added to the contacts section. And you can also manually add any contacts that you'd like. These are people like your suppliers, wholesalers, veterinarians, and breeders. We skipped the accounting section to talk about your market and contacts, but we'll come full circle now. So you grew and harvested your crops, raised your animals, tracked all your resources, completed the tasks and events associated with all of that, and then sold your products in the market. All of those things come together in the accounting section with income and expense transactions combined in a profit and loss statement. This coincides with the United States Schedule F tax filings or it can be customized to fit your tax needs. And if you need more than this, FarmRide also offers many accounting and financial reports and dozens of other additional reports for your livestock, plants, orders, tasks, and resources. You also have the ability to create custom reports, letting you select the data you want to see and how you want to see it. Now we looked at mapping a field previously when we created a new grow location, but note that you can also access the farm map from the main menu and that you can add additional aspects to your map like property boundaries, buffer zones, buildings, animal enclosures, or irrigation. And the last section of the main menu is climate, where you'll find historical weather information, a weather map with different satellite overlays for moisture, vegetation, and temperature, and a way to track your property's microclimate with weather stations, gauges, and climate logs. Now that we've reviewed the menu on the left, see that there are also a few items across the top as well. These are always at the top and available on every page in FarmBright. The search bar in the upper left is a system-wide search that makes it easy to find what you are looking for across all of your records. You can search for crops, specific animals or groups, grow locations, and equipment, contacts, and products. Next, check out the Quick Add menu, which acts as a shortcut to create all types of records. Need to take a quick note or add a recent transaction? How about recording a livestock treatment or a crop harvest? You can do all of those things and more right from this menu. You'll find this particularly useful when using FarmBright on a mobile device. We then see the Account menu, where you'll find basic account settings and information, and the ability to add more users. If you have colleagues that need to use FarmBright, you can set them up and invite them here. After learning more in this tour, 
we're sure you can see that FarmBright is a powerful system with many tools to help you run and scale a successful business. You don't have to set them all up at once though. Start your free trial and begin working with what's important for you or what intrigued you from this demo. And be sure to reach out to us if you have any questions as you start. Happy farming!